Hi, hello, welcome to Mass Guru channel. In this video, I am going to explain trigonometric identities. Actually, in trigonometry, we have three identities, which are sine square plus cos square is equal to 1. Okay, cot square minus cos square is equal to 1. And the secant square minus tan square is equal to 1. Here, now I am going to derive these trigonometric identities. How to derive? Let's see. Here, before going to derive, first you should know what is identity. Okay? Identity is a mathematical equation which is true for which is true for all the values of it. Okay? Now, let us consider one right angle triangle. Let us take one right angle triangle. Okay? Let us take A, B, C. Right angle is at B. Right angle is at B. Now, take here one angle. At C, you can take one angle theta. Here, with respect to angle A, we are talking with respect to angle A. So, if you talk with respect to A, now C. Here, opposite of this angle A, it is opposite angle, we can call it opposite side. Okay? This is the adjacent side adjacent side this is the hypotenuse okay always once remember always where is the right angle for that right angle opposite side hypotenuse we can take that side is a hypotenuse okay now see here let us take ABC is a right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. Right angle is at B. Right angle is at B. Okay. Now, from the Pythagoras theorem, what it what is the statement of Pythagoras theorem? The square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of the remaining two sides, right? Here, what is the hypotenuse here? AC is the hypotenuse, right? So, from the Pythagoras theorem, we can write it as AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Plus BC square. Okay. Now, this equation divide each term by AC square. Divide each term by AC square. Divide each term by AC square. Okay. Now, AC by AC. We can write directly whole square or first to write individual square. AC square by AC square is equals to AB square by AC square plus BC square by AC square. Okay. One step, one step we can write it as AC by AC whole square. Why? Because both numerator and denominator have square. No. We can write it as common square. Okay. Now, AB by AC whole square plus BC by AC whole square. Okay. Now, see here. With respect to angle A, we are talking now. So, 
for this angle a this is the opposite side this is the hypotenuse if opposite side by hypotenuse that is bc by ac that is opposite side by hypotenuse it will gives sin a it will gives sin a okay next adjacent by hypotenuse that is ab by ac adjacent side by adjacent side by hypotenuse it will gives cos a okay now one more opposite side by adjacent no, adjacent side that is bc by ab opposite side by adjacent side which will gives tan a which will gives tan a so here ac by ac we can do cancellation we will get one square which is equals to here ab by ac ab by ac what it is cos a whole square plus bc by ac bc by ac we got it no so here bc by <coughs> ac bc is the opposite sign ac is the hypotenuse opposite sign by opposite side by uh, hypotenuse sin a okay sin a whole square now one square one square means one only one is equal to cos square a plus sin square a is is equal to 1 therefore we can write it as sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 in order first i am writing sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 this is the identity 1 okay once take the screenshot two more identities also i am going to derive okay next next is you can take it as same equation now second part the second one divide each term by ab square ab square okay just i am dividing ac square by ab square is equal to ab square by ab square plus bc square by ab square okay now after dividing see one more step ac by ab whole square which is equals to ab by ab whole square plus bc by ab whole square okay now ac by ab ac by ab means hypotenuse by adjacent side actually adjacent by hypotenuse means cos that reciprocal cos reciprocal is second okay now here we can write it as second a whole square now ab ab will get cancel one square plus bc by ab bc by ab opposite side by adjacent side okay tan opposite side by adjacent means tan square a tan a whole square now secant square is equal to 1 plus tan square a now we can write it as tan tan square a transpose of plus secant square minus secant square secant square a is equal to 1 here sorry here we should take the transpose plus actually secant square here only write it as minus tan square plus tan square will becomes minus tan square a is equal to 
this is the second identity okay once take the screenshot now third one third one is dividing each term by bc square dividing each term by bc square so what you will get see here ac whole square by bc whole square is equals to ab whole square by bc whole square plus bc whole square by bc whole square okay now ac by bc whole square which is equals to ab by bc whole square plus bc by bc whole square okay now ac by bc check it in a right angle ab by bc adjacent adjacent side by opposite side means that cot okay cot a whole square which is equals to ab by bc ab by bc so ac by bc ac means hypotenuse bc by opposite side hypotenuse by opposite side okay cosec why because opposite by hypotenuse is sin hypotenuse by opposite means okay sin reciprocal is cosec see here cosec whole square which is equal to ab by bc ab by bc adjacent by opposite side okay adjacent by opposite side actually opposite by adjacent means tan tan reciprocal cot cot a whole square plus bc bc will get cancel one will be okay now cosec square a is equal to cot square a plus 1 okay now take transpose of cot okay now cosec square a minus cot square a is equal to 1 okay this is the third identity okay once take the screenshot i hope you understood for more videos subscribe my channel support me thank you have a nice day bye